don't see that logo anymore. Phantasmagoria. It's a real world. Real, real word, apparently. There you go. Alrighty, so, 995, dust based, 7 CD ROMs, pretty schlock, pretty campy, it's a lot of fun. First, first CD ROM game I think I ever bought, back in the day. So, I think I bought it mainly because it was like 7 CDs, so it was the biggest thing you could get. So, uh, yeah. I've had uh, an original copy of Phantasmagoria since, uh, yeah, the very end of 95, maybe the early, the beginning of 96. So I've still got my original big box, and then I've picked up, uh, like, just a jewel case copy and shit since then. Let's start with the intro. Mmm. Delicious high-resolution video quality. Look at that. 1080p high def needs more JPEG. Ah, <laughs> uh, they just don't make games like this anymore. Actually, no, they do. They've been starting to bring back some FMV games I've noticed lately. It'd be neat if my uh, access the Steam community while playing box disappeared if the bottom right hand corner. That'd be neat. Thanks, Steam, for letting me know. Seems legit. And I remember when I first got this too, because I think uh, when you played it through DOS, yeah, when you played it through DOS, it had inter it was interlaced, so it had lines through everything as well. You had to play it in Windows to get the the full picture. So. Yeah, so we're what, uh, 05, 15, 20, 24 years old. This game is 24 years old. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Fix your hair, love. Aha, it was the dream within the dream within the dream. Check out the hairy chest. And the long hair. At least he hasn't got a mullet. <laughs> no, it's horrible. Uh, probably both. <laughs> so, I mean, we're running at 10 frames per second here. Um, yeah, it's, it's really low quality for motion video, so... Don't ever have to be afraid of anything. It's not going to be amazing. But it's only through the video sequences, so when we're in the game, it's graphics, if you know what I mean. Like, you'll see, the whole thing's not pure FMV. Hey, rude bits! Don't look, you're too young. <laughs> that's a, I think that's about as raunchy as it gets. There's the infamous, infamous rape scene at the start of chapter 4. Again, you don't see anything, but I'll, I'll definitely do a trigger on my to upset you. Alright, let's start your game. Name your game. What am I going to name my game? What should I name my game? There was some good side beat. What should I name my game? Come on, Steam. Don't need the overlay. That's just going to sit there the whole time and bug me. Alright. We need to name our game. And we've got a keyboard. A side boop? I knew you were going to say side boop. Alright, we're going to call our game side boop. Done. Very mature. Alright, let's start at the beginning. Chapter 1. Sunday, October 16th, 9am. On the dot. Ooh, we're up to 20 frames. <laughs> Ah, oh, you said boob. That's it. Dan's, Dan's sold. <laughs> he's, already, he's already put the game in his steam cart. <laughs> Good morning, honey. Good morning, sweetheart. How about some coffee? Yeah, big one. Big one. 
Somebody kept me up. You yeah. see that tearing? That's on my oh, screen I'm too. Sorry, yeah. I had a nightmare. We're down to ten frames again. It's just, it's just you an old game. Mind so much last night. Oh no. Explain what you're seeing. Okay, so this is a full motion video. Yeah, I know. Adventure game. Look, he's smoking a cigarette. You wouldn't get that this anymore. Place is kind of um, released yeah, in different. 1995 you know, I bet the from Sierra. This place it came on seven really CDs. Bizarre. And uh, well, hi, Spaz. How Spaz you doing, the cat. Huh? And uh, yeah, it's it's a horror game, but it's an adventure game. What are you gonna do today, sweetheart? So this is Adrian. You play Adrian, the the, the lady. She's an author. And it's her husband. He's a photographer. How about you? And they've just bought a house and yet moved in. Floor? Yeah. And like shit's that. gonna get fucked I think up. I'm gonna turn it into a photo lab for myself. Keep me busy for a week or so. That's a good idea. What's in that box? Well, I don't know. I haven't gone. Do you love the audio desync as well? Let's it's quality. See. So we're running this through DOSBox, just because it won't oh, run Windows Christmas 10. Oh, look Kill at him. This. Well, maybe. Just a sec. I'll cue the romantic music. Here we go. You remember this? Yeah. Yeah, I gave you this for Halloween. You rat? <laughs> you know it was Christmas Eve. It was the night you proposed to me. Are you sure I proposed to you? Yes. Of course I remember. Of course I do. You're forgiven. No. No, I'm with Dad. I better get to work. Just kill him. a lot to do. Just kill him. I'm gonna keep this little fella with me, though. At least he hasn't got a mullet. I mean, it's 95, but at least he hasn't... Yeah, I was... Yeah, <laughs> yeah maybe. But at least it's not a mullet. Now, that's probably gonna be in the 80s, right? Sinister. Alright. Here we go. Alright, so this is the game, like, proper. This is what it's like when you're playing. So they've sort of got, like, pre-rendered CG scenes, and then they put the character, the FMV character sort of over the top. So. And then there's just, yeah. It's, controls are pretty straightforward. It's just sort of move around, look at things, go places. This is over the way. It is. It's just full of drama and controversy. All right, so for instance, we're gonna. <laughs> right, so it's pretty straightforward. You just, it's just, it's, it's you know, move the cursor around. Oh, red thing means I can interact. Simple, right? And now I've got an object. I can put that on the eye, and you can. <laughs> Obviously not designed for modern computers. That's meant to spin around very slowly. Anyway, uh, so there's that. Then you got old mate here. I am the official hint keeper. Official. I watch your every move. Creepy. Ask me for a hint if you are hopelessly stuck, but use me sparingly. No. Too many hints. She has spoil the game. She's done. She. I think she was more of a maybe stage. Yeah, she's got a bit of a cult following, so is he. I think he did some TV stuff. But yeah. Anyway. Look at that. See, now, when I played this originally, it would take ages for that transition because your two times <laughs> CD ROM drive would have to spin up and, and then start loading the FMV scene as you would move into the room. You know, and it would just, yeah. Now, though. So silky smooth. Modern technology. It has been a while since i played this. I'm fairly certain I remember most of what I'm supposed to be doing. But... Yeah. And of course, all this FMV, I'm pretty sure is in like... 256 colour too, so you're going to get some of that... Sort of... Artifacting and stuff. It is good voice acting. They're actual proper actors. Well, not proper, but you know. Right. I mean, Spaz the Cat. Spaz the Cat, clearly, uh, you know, the big spend here. The, the major get for this production. <laughs> and from memory, I think there's like a, a lot of this sort of 
frivolous, irrelevant sort of stuff like you drink some water. So I'm going to try and avoid some of that if I can, because that'll just bog us down. But it's been a few years since I played this, so... Hugo's... Yeah, see, I don't have quite the same um, emotional connection to Hugo's House of Horrors. Like, I'd already been gaming for years by the time it came out, and it was just... I don't know, it never... Never sort of resonated me with with me the same way that it did for a lot of other people. I know it's got a cop following now. Dun, 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 dun. So this this is like I can't see this ever happening in Australia. Like if we moved into a mansion like this, <laughs> the first thing we're gonna do is just throw most of your shit out. <laughs> I mean, I might keep the table because it's nice, but I'm not gonna have pictures of weird people. Uh, on my wall. Like, who does that? Only in, in, in a Lovecraft adventure do you move into a fully furnished house and keep everything. Okay, I won't stoke the fire. Instead, I'm just going to walk <laughs> walk around with a massive uh, high-speed fire poker in my pocket. you got to love severe adventures. They like, do that. Like, they're just, you know, I'm just going to stick a table in my pocket. Yeah, that's something I remember. <laughs> she loves looking at herself in mirrors. That's <laughs> what's Fog gum lads. Gum oh, the pitch is different. Dun 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 Are you scared yet? You should be scared. The picture's different. Also, did you know that you can access the Steam community while playing? Shift tab to begin. Alright, well that was that was terrifying. Uh, and I'm going to lose, lose half my viewers off that one. That's just too much. Like, Amnesia has nothing on this. <laughs> Glorious! Five frames per second. Welcome to DOS Gaming, folks. At its finest. I bet you game sometimes had the most odd combinations of actions needed. Right? You know, use the fire poker with the cat to get poop. It's just bizarre. It's almost like Tom Selleck above your fireplace, right? <laughs> spaz! Yeah. Go Spaz. Hey Spaz. How you doing, kitty? Getting used to the new place yet, huh? I think Spaz looks pretty comfortable on the CG couch in front of the CG fire. Yeah, that's it. Attack the animal. <laughs> Alright. In before... Ah, like, clearly haunted piano, right? Okay. It's a wind up piano. Cool. 50 bucks, that's playing itself later on. the other one out. <laughs> Pre-rendered CG and an FMV snip snippet. Like. Absent the essence of the wormwood. Yeah, don't drink that, sweetie. It'll mess you up. Does he detect danger? I don't know. I don't remember. I'm pretty... I mean, spoilers, I'm pretty sure the cat gets it before the end of the game. But then again, I, I can't remember. Like, he might just be one of those things like he's there for the first two scenes and then just magically never spoken of again. I don't remember. 
You'll have to watch and find out. Here's another thing, right? Adventure games like this, like you've got a locked door. This only works works if, if, if your, your your protagonist is someone like this. Now, now if your hero is someone my size or Dan's size or Chris's size, you know, a normal person, normal person who's whatever we are, you know, anywhere from 120 to 160 kilos and six foot something, a locked door like that just doesn't stop you. Find the key. Nope. Nope. I'm just in. <laughs> I'm, I'm just in. Can I walk to... I can't walk to sort of nowhere. I have to be specific. All right. Well, I don't want to go upstairs just yet. I want to. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? Wait, I have a thing for that now. Check this out. What the hell was that? <laughs> All right, a token. I'll try it out. Well, that's not creepy. So you just move into a house and then this is in your ballroom, like just cash. Who does that? Evil will walk once more. Yeah, well, I certainly wouldn't wish for that. I want to be big. Or, you know. Swap bodies with someone. Ha! <laughs> Great minds. See? You were there too. I wish I was bigger. Yeah. Alright. Well, that was terrible. And I can't believe she has that just sitting in her house. Alright, what's down here? I'm gonna do the ground floor before I go anywhere else. Yeah, I've got six in my land room, man. Six fortune teller machines in my land room. More locked doors. Again, this this wouldn't be a problem. It should just be kick the door open. Wait, 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 I have an idea. Like I just rip this thing open with the fight. No. No. Fine, burn it down. Nope, can't burn the house down either. Who designed this? Clearly clearly if I can't get into a locked room, I would just burn the house down. Alright. Well, that looks like most of the ground floor. Outside, upstairs. Outside, upstairs. I'd ask you guys, but you seem to be like 10 seconds behind, even with the low latency mode. So. Go upstairs. Go upstairs. <sighs> nice tapestry. I keep the tapestry. Can you imagine cleaning this place, though? Can you imagine cleaning this? It'd be nuts. It'd take you just forever. You'd never be not cleaning. All right. I mean, that's obviously something. I can interact with the bed. And I can interact whatever, with whatever that is. All right. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going on the bed. Like, did they, did they have any furniture of their own when they moved in? I'm curious, because, like, I'm an, you're an adult, okay, and you want to move into state into a new house. Uh, you, you would have furniture. Who just, just, I'm just going to walk in and here's a cool mill and I own the house and everything in it and that's fine. We've already moved in. Who does that? No, nobody does that. And that looks a little odd. Again with the mirrors. Yep. Just got a thing for mirrors. Check your lipstick. That's it, honey. Alright. Well. This is weird. Oh, man. I have all sorts of things in Amy's house. You wouldn't believe. <laughs> and more tranquil music while you look at strange pictures of strangers in your house. Right, uh, okay. What's the point of that? 
Let's get that thing. Whatever that is. <laughs> this is... Man, if I'm squinting, you guys have got no hope. I think it's Polaroids. I'm pretty sure that's Polaroids. She just... No, she just ninja them. I don't know. No, it's not her in the picture. That's someone else. It's, it's like the previous owner or something. Ah, okay. It's tarot cards. Tarot cards. Cool. Can I tarot card? I can't tarot card myself. Can I set my tarot cards on fire? Nope. Alright, well, that's a disappointment. <laughs> she, she got, she, she, whoops. Better, pick, better not leave those polarized lying around the house. <laughs> my, my selfies. Someone will find them. I, I like sleeping in a bedroom that's all red with some strange, like, wizard-looking dude on the wall. It's legit. Uh, it's, this, this looks a lot like uh, Dan's bedroom. I mean, you know, with, with what is that, like a white bear or something? Alright, Doki. What, what does this do? Like, okay, I'm just, I'm just sitting. I'm, uh, I'm just sitting. All right. I bet she can touch the mirror because she touches every freaking mirror. She can just go around the house sitting in chairs. <laughs> this is The Sims 1995 edition. Oh man. All right. Enough with the chairs. Bet you she looks in the mirror though. She can't look in the mirror. Oh wait, wrong mirror maybe. Alright, where we go here? This is clearly a thing. Right. So you just bought the jewelry and everything. Okay. That's a little odd. That's a little odd. This is what this, yeah. That looks like a missing tarot card. Hey, power cord. I could use that for things. Some cigaretta. Yeah, I'm thinking it was a deceased estate, but again, like, where's her, where's their stuff? I mean, maybe it's in the garage outside. But you'd think you'd think that. Uh, F and V sequence. We've done something. We've done something, people. Rather pointy nose. Dun dun dun! The bird of doom. Yeah, I don't think this is just another sit because this looks more involved. Didn't she just get up and have a coffee? She just got up and had a coffee now it's sleepy nap time. Well that's Dan out. That's that's too scary for him. That's his name. I remember now. He's made he's made of like three pixels in this scene. Don. <laughs> Honey. Okay? She's not saying Don. She's not calling for Don. She's just saying Don. The bed grabbed me. The bed grabbed me. The bed grabbed you? Yes. <laughs> oh, here, calm down. Calm down. Wait here. Wait here. All right? Just wait here. I'll show No, don't. Just calm down. Don't. See? It's okay, Hila. See? It's the condescending wrong. scene. And then, bam. Oh. This old drafty house has your imagination going, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I've got to get back to work. Are you going to be okay? Yes. You sure? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Just calm down. Okay. 
Wait a minute. You got a bed that you can lie on and hands come out and grope you and you're not lying back on it? I'd never get up. I would never get up. <laughs> that's just me. Alright. Well, that's that's that room. Actually, hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. Did you notice the... Look at these... That's a bit... Uh, risque. A bit erotic. Can't go back to the bed. Well, let me go back to the bed. Alright, so that's, uh, that's enough spooky in this room. It's a bottom... I think, we, I think we've clicked most of what we could click in there. Right. Nope, 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 nope. Hey. What's up, dude? I'm telling you, bed, grab me. You gotta listen. We don't have any furniture. Why would we have drain cleaner? Damn! These old pipes really are clogged. Is there anything I can do? Yeah, give me that wrench. Thanks, honey. Right. Go and turn the tap on while he's under there. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Oops. Not the shop's tool in the box, eh? Alright. So, what all happening in that room? What have we got in here? Cool. Cool. What, what? What is that? It's like a freaking torture device in his house. Righto. Yeah, I was inspecting a house last week. It's just filled with torture devices. <laughs> Weapons. Another mirror for you to look at, naturally. Ooh. Spooky. Cue the music. That's an actress. I wonder if she just got upset with the fact that, like, half of her recording time was looking in the mirrors and adjusting her hair and makeup. Like... Wouldn't that just get tedious? Alright, well... Don't know what the geo is there. How do we... Okay. Oh, we got an upstairs. Upstairs, upstairs. That's the sex chair. <laughs> it's electric. Alright. So... We're on level 3 if you're in America, or level 2 if you're uh, in the UK. It's a big house. We got a Ted. We got a horrible baby picture. We got like, what's wrong with this wall? Oh, jeez. That's terror. Need to stitch that back on. It's all good. Teddies are resilient. You can see what I mean. I don't know if you could. You should be able to see it uh, on the stream, but you can tell like that's a the 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 dress is sort of pre-rendered CG, and then you know her and the teddy bear are it's taken from a video still, so you can you can sort of really see what you're supposed to be interacting with. 
okay? There's just a fart. <laughs> There's a fart. <laughs> There's a literal fart hanging above the cot. <laughs> it would be the same. God, what is this? <laughs> yeah, look out, it's a level three spell. What the hell? This this just a fart. Okay. Don't get your husband or anything. Don't be like, hey, honey, there's just a fart hanging above the door, above the, the cot. Right. That it sure stopped me. Right, so the key's stuck in it. On the other side. Why there's a key stuck in the keyhole. I just said that. Fix your hair. Do 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 That's a fancy bath shower. It looks a little narrow though. I don't think I can fit in that. You get kicked out, and the door locks. Yeah. Good, you pervs. You get nothing. Sickos. They need to watch people go to the toilet. Oh, now we're going to wash our hands, too. Oh, that's good. Don't you love adventure games where you can do things like go to the bathroom and wash your hands? That, that sure was good. I guess. <laughs> oh, oh. I'm, no, I'm not doing my hair and my makeup and no. Nope, nope, not doing that. That's just not happening. <laughs> Way too frivolous. I guess the spray, again, like in 95, when this came out, all that stuff was, you know, pretty cool. But. You know, showing off the power of FMB. Yeah. High ceilings. That's going to be like a 12 foot room. 12 foot high. Hey, got some dollar dues. That's going to come in handy. Get down to the club later on. Got myself a fiver. Got a Lincoln. Alright. Well, I can poke. No, can't poke the fire. Ooh, that looks cutting edge. Wait, I thought I turned my computer off. Lose one sanity. Weren't you here yesterday? It's not. <clears throat> Righto. Cutting edge. Yeah, right, I can play video games. Uh, conservatory, or...? Don't know what that is. What is this thing? She agrees with me then. Oh, pardon me. Okay. That's the same thing. Right. What's this? That's, uh, very modern. Sure, I'm glad I clicked that. You can tell what she's going to interact with.
Do I get a look? Okay, I do. Leonora. Leonora? Leonora. Well, that, that's, uh, that's a clue. Very important clue. I should write that down. Not writing that down. <coughs> and in the wicker basket, we have... An, an apron. With a big H in it. And a musical cue. That's exciting. I said, like, seriously, wouldn't you just move in and throw all this crap out? Nope. Chuck all your filthy muck out in the street. And you have a fountain in the middle of a conservatory at the top of your house. Right. Why not? I have three. Alright, well, I think, I think, I think, I feel we're pretty done on the upstairs, hey? <coughs> So, we literally go outside. We haven't done outside. At least that's not locked. Hurrah! Alright. Go back inside. We can go that way. We can go that way. Right, let's go into the spooky woods of, of Doom. R right, okay. Okay, it's neat. Push that right open. You just rip it open. In fact, failing that, even though she's small, when she, she looks like she would just fit through those bars anyway. Yeah, this is a not yet place. That's too far. That'd be a long jump. Okay. We'll just kick the tree over. Alright. Oh. Also not yet. Yep, lots of not yet for me. It's a freaking maze. Hey, an interactable. Shooting fork in a pond with some real sketchy looking grass. Well, I sure am glad I took the time to. Uh... Oh, okay, that leads to there. We knew that, right? I think we knew that. Okay, cool, 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 cool. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Alright, can I go? I can. i do a lappy. I have three of these on the side of my house. Uh, they just give it character. Alright. Done. Done, 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 done. There's a chair I can't sit in. Done. Done. I got a car. That's not ominous at all. Would you drive up this driveway and think, it's hot, I'm gonna buy it. It doesn't look like a spooky old mansion at all. But clearly anybody that's like read Lovecraft or seen a horror movie would pull up this driveway and go, hard nope. You just, you would just, you would drive around the roundabout and leave.
I'm a big fan of cars that don't need keys. Welcome to Sierra Land. Welcome to Nipple Womb Set. Seems legit. That's very razor blade. That was terrifying. That was a shock scare. I'm just gonna rifle through the town. As well. <laughs> like I've just moved in. I'm just gonna go through town. Just read everybody's shit. Mr. Malcolm Worm Sh Worms Shadow? Worm Shadow. Righto. Cool. Are we gonna open it? No? Okay, we're just, we're just done going from this person's mouth. Onto the next letterbox. Pretty sure that's a federal offense. Pretty sure that's a federal offense, lady. Dong. Apparently not. Can I go to... I can go to town? Cool. Let's go to town. Hey, woofer. Hey, fella. What a good boy. Just, just sand in his boat. Just sand in his boat. General store. General store is closed. Well, that sucks. We're just standing around looking confused then. Can't talk to old mate. You can pat the dog, but you can't talk to old mate. <coughs> Everyone's got a dog. Robert Tompkins Realty. Well, he's open. What a slime. When's the last time I took a look? <laughs> <laughs> My husband <laughs> bought a house from you. Mm, too bad you got a husband, honey. Wow, wouldn't well, get away with that these days. Uh, to do that. <laughs> well, what's his name? Asshole. What was that? <laughs> Keck. Gordon. Donald Gordon. What? Yeah, because in a, in, a, in a town of three people. Yeah. Donald Gordon, here we go. Oh. Who's them people what took over the old Caravash estate? It's Carnivash. I remember now. Your husband was that photographer. What takes the pictures for those magazines? Yeah. Uh. Well, my husband works for several magazines. Who talks like He's that? He's doing a project for Newsday magazine right now. Yeah. And you, little lady, uh, you're a writer, huh? Yes. What a condescending I'm fuck. a novelist. Oh, a novelist. So what have you noveled? <laughs> Have you heard of a book called Blue Moon Rising? No, can't say I have. I'm not surprised. Well, uh, young lady, unless there's something else, I think we'll cut this chit chat for today. I got a lot of work to do. I got another client I'm going to meet. Yeah, I bet you do. Well, thanks. All right, so what was the point of that? There is something. Hey. Yes. Keys. Are you sure you gave my husband all the keys to the Carnivash estate? Husband. There seem to be some locked doors. Well, I gave him all I had. But if you don't believe me, why don't you just check for yourself? Well, I think I will. Right, okay. Yeah, get on in there, nick all these files. 
Use oh, wait, use the matches just to fire the whole filing cabinet. <laughs> How do you miss that? Carnabash estate. All the keys, huh? What's this? It's a very large key. <laughs> so sue me. How <laughs> you missed that? <laughs> Do need some glasses. Oh boy. Alright, cool. So. Wh why? You're just standing around. He's in his. Oh, he's at his office. He's just standing around. Just gonna sit down for a little bit. Cross my legs. Just. Just be annoying. <laughs> just gonna sit in your office. <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> <laughs> what are you? Who does that? I'm just bored. Just, just gonna, just gonna, uh, you know, sit around your office for a while. <laughs> I got, yeah, fifteen minutes. I got to kill. <laughs> just grab a magazine. Don't mind me. <laughs> oh man, they don't make adventure games like this anymore. That's awesome. <laughs> Oh boy, she's gonna kill time in some dude's office. That's awesome. Get the... Oh man. All right, let's get the hell out of here. We got a key. Key is good. Got his golf clubs. Yeah, he's ready for his next meeting. Luan's Antiques. That oh, one's closed. Right, well, we're not going in there. Well, I wonder if the, uh, I wonder if the, uh, general store's open now. Right, 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 right. I'm looking at I'm looking at a walkthrough here because I don't want to take forever. All right, pet the dog. Oh, we didn't. Yeah, we did that. Oh wait, we didn't pet that dog. Look at the antique store. In the real estate, talk to the man several times, look at the file cabinet, walk left, look at store, walk south, get in car, in a house, walk south, use right, okay, cool, 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 all right, cool, I didn't want to go all the way home, and then find I had missed something, I had to come back to town, because that's just boring, okay, so, get in the car, the car that doesn't need keys, she's good enough to drive a car without keys, but she can't get through a flimsy wooden door. parked it perfectly exactly where she left it all right we have a key i think that's the big get here so we had what locked door downstairs we had two locked doors downstairs we'll try it on that first get all six of those pixels at once. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's try this key. Make sure you study it carefully first so you know how keys work. Try the other one. Hey, now we're cooking. 
Now we're cooking. I get to keep my key. Might come in handy again. Can I can I see two? This reporter attended Carnot's Phantasmagoria show in London's Egyptian theater last night and found it horrific, spine tingling, and incredible. Women were swooning in the aisles at the gory realism of his spectacles. For the uninitiated, Carnot's shows are not for the faint of heart, as they feature occult images, images. the black arts, torture devices, bodily amputations. Of course, all are accompanied by a generous dose of screams, shrieks, howls, and frightening organ music. Those of you up to thrills and chills won't want to miss this. I do like me some thrills and chills. Fix your hair. That's it. Hey, what we got? Is it a statue? Hey, I know I remember that. I remember this. This is where we gotta use our. Oh, it's a letter opener. It's a letter opener. Alright. <coughs> At least we got a library, we got some books. Fancy desk. I'd like a desk like that. Put my computer on it. Dear Jeremiah, it has come to my attention that you have recently acquired a unique book while traveling through Egypt this most recent winter. It is my understanding that this tome contains powerful information regarding ancient rituals of sorcery and yes magic. the leather-bound books to go with my leather-bound money of reading it. as you know i am sometimes frustrated by the fact that i cannot really control the world around me that my so-called magic is merely nothing more than illusions next month I will be giving a show in Paris. Will you be in town then? If so, I would like to set up a meeting during which I could examine your fascinating acquisition. If the book is really authentic, I would be more than willing to pay a hefty sum for its purchase. I look forward to hearing from you. Best regards, Zoltan. Well, he must be real wizard because his name is Zoltan. But clearly, no, nobody called Zoltan, you know, is not a wizard. <coughs> yeah, they look leather bound. There's some pretty hefty drawers there too for like, I'm guessing, like architectural blueprints or something. I don't know. Pretty substantial. It's a pretty substantial room. Okay, we have a fireplace. <laughs> okay. What the hell? What the hell? <laughs> I'm never going to get tired of that GIF. GIF! How dare I say GIF? Yeah, it happened to me the other week. Now you've, now you've, now you've fucked it. Now you've, you, now you, there's not enough bog to fill that up. You, you fucked it. Okay. It's the home of the Templars.
<laughs> also, did you know that you can access the Sing community while playing? Press Shift Tab to begin. It's very important. Thanks, Steve. Alright, so we just kick the shit out of that until there's a big enough hole to get through. Right? Uh, there's not a brick wall that's been made that stopped me from walking through it. Uh, we just got to belt the shit out of it with uh, fire poker, right? Well, that seems to be working. That's a thing. Get into it, love. That's it. Damn, it's not working. It's not working. Okay. So kick it. Repeatedly, pick up the chair, bolt it into it. Uh, okay, the wall just... <laughs> Special effects. The wall just changed. It was all black before, now it's just sort of like... And how is this more effective than... Uh, fire poker? This is, this is not going to work. She's going to cut herself. Well, there you go. That's fucked. Probably priceless heirloom. Family heirloom. You just fucked it. <laughs> I kind of like this game. It's a bit like that. It isn't it? It's like... It's one of those games you have that nostalgic uh, vibe for. And then you play it again and you're like... This was actually pretty shit. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna have some laughs with it. You know. Uh, why not? It's been a while since I played it. <laughs> yeah, definitely the worst bricklaying job I've ever seen too. That's uh someone's getting fired for that shit. I still don't know why she just didn't kick <laughs> We need his like montage that's like fifteen minutes later. Alright. So It is a chapel. There you go, it wasn't far off. Pardon me. I said it was like Templars. It looked it looked kind of like that. How did we not know notice? How did we not notice the stained glass crucifixes from the outside of the house? Hmm? How did how did that how does that work? Pretty sure it's, uh, it's a book, love. Pretty sure it's a book. <laughs> yeah, yes, you're right, Skagans. It's clearly, there's some... But, but, there's a flaw in your logic. If there's trees prohibiting the view, then they would also block the sunlight, and then I wouldn't have these, you know, these god rays or whatever it is coming in, so... Unless the trees just, just sort of come up... No, you'd still see them. That doesn't work. Clearly the Necronomicon, and uh, you should probably leave it alone. I mean, anybody who's ever played Cthulhu knows you just... Uh, she's even putting it on the, the, the pedestal, like... <sighs> Next thing you know, she's going to start reading it. Who the hell reads it? Uh, wow. This must be Carno's family tree. Right, well, now you fucked it. That's it. She fucked it. <laughs> it's not getting well. No, it's fucked. You fucked it, love. <laughs> There's no putting that back together. Right, so yeah, didn't see the word. Alright, so... I don't know, do we, do we click the box and, like, die? Read... I should just fucking leave, but, you know, I've got to actually finish the game, I suppose, so... Uh, both are bad. Like, if this was a Cthulhu campaign, I would just leave. I feel the box is probably the lesser of the two evils. Re reading's always... 
bad. It's Slimer. Don? She's done. She's just done. You heard her. Done? Done? I'm done. Are you? Oh my god. Sick boots, man. Don, what happened? Sick boots. Adrian. Ouch, my head. Are you okay, honey? It's, it's just a little kind of... What happened? Are you sure? Let me look at that. You've got quite a goose egg. What were you doing? Wrestling with that lamp? Hey, hey. Oh. It's very funny. I don't, I don't know what happened. Uh, suddenly the damn lamp crashed out on top of my head. I, uh, I just finished tightening the screws. Oh. I'm fine, Adrian. Riveting stuff. I'm gonna go upstairs, get cleaned up, put on some new clothes. Oh. Take off your, your stylish boots. I'm done for the day. How about some dinner? What would you like? I'm not really very hungry. Maybe some tuna or a salad or something. Then let's call it a night. That sounds good. I'm kind of tired. That was the shortest day ever. See you downstairs in about 10 minutes? Yeah, 10 minutes. Yeah, chapter one done. I think we got, I got time for another chapter before we finish this stream. So, you know, stick with me. We're gonna do another chapter. Chapter 2, Monday, October 17th, 10 a.m. We slept in. That's a spiky house. It was made by orcs, clearly. They put spikes on everything. Dear diary. Today I was groped by a bed. I didn't tell my husband, but it was kind of cool. I'm in here! Oh. In here, in the bedroom! Chaos House? Yeah, you're, you're probably right. She's wearing the same clothes, so is he. What are you doing? What are you doing? Well, I'm, you know, I'm starting my new book. So what? Did you go buy the drain cleaner like I asked you to? What? Drain cleaner? Don't be coy with me. I asked you several times to go buy me drain cleaner. Now, did you do it? Well, I know you said the sink was clogged in your dark room, but you never asked me to go get you any drain cleaner. I would have remembered something like that. You know, this is just like you. I bust my ass for you all the time. Did he just you go full cook me some eggs, woman? But like you're doing right now. What? What is wrong with you? I don't understand. Yep. I. Fine. Ooh. The next time you want something, don't come crawling to me. He just went fully cooked the man some eggs. Fine. I'll go to the store and get your goddamn drain cleaner. Goddamn drain cleaner. Yep. That was that was straight up some uh, too bloody Libby woman. Like once a warrior shit there. <laughs> All right. Cool. Yeah, he's gonna tell her to cook some eggs for sure. For sure. <laughs> Chapter 3, the house just covered in blood. Police turning up, it's not pretty. Alright. See, I'm seeing a lot of repetition here too, like you can click on stuff that we've already clicked on. And I don't want to do that. There's the fire zone now, that's nice. Alright, let's, let's, yeah, I don't want any of that. <clears throat> Have a quick look, make sure the house is in order. Yep, yep, tiny weird looking shower still there. Yep, uh, wonder if the fart's still there. Let's see if the fart is still there, floating. 
That's a fucking pearl of a fart. It's been sitting there for how long? That's I'd be proud of that. You'd have to be proud of that kind of fart. Uh, right, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, man, for sure. Hey, it's closed. Don, you in there? Yeah. What are you doing in there? Nothing. Now go away. Wait. Wow. I don't understand. Did I do something wrong? Nothing more than usual, Adrian. Now be a good little girl and go away. What? All right. Dude's pissy. Probably because he didn't get laid last night. You know, he's just testosterone flooding through his system and he's just being a prick. She should kick his ass. That's what needs to happen. Cool. All right. Yep. Cool. Looks in order. Nothing's on fire. I mean, yet. We had the molesty bed. I wonder if molesty bed is back to being molesty again. Nope. Can't get molested by the bed again. Sad. That's a good bed. <laughs> 15 minutes of walking out of the room animation. What's that hazy blue outline? Where's it coming from? Sounds like MIDI music too. Yeah, yeah. There you go. You just <laughs> great minds. It does. It sounds like MIDI music. that straight off the table straight off the table she's clearly never played a Cthulhu adventure before you would just you would just walk into the room and go boot you would just kick you would just kick it straight off the table and and pull out your 38 hmm that's strange knives and stabbing weapons all right cool thanks for the uh for the mini Go get some drain cleaner. Keep old mate happy. And then Fluffy's rocker again. <sighs> Pretty sure. Can we? Yeah, we could just skip that. Nice. Are we open? Yeah. Alright. Let's buy some of those green things. Any money. Any money. The drain cleaner costs exactly $5. Because it's an adventure game. Look like... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sucks with sandals. Nice. Good morning. Good morning.
Alright, let's go get the drain cleaner. Where are your drain cleaner at, yo? Up the back, right? Free soup bones. Take all of them. All of them. All of them. It's a Sierra adventure. I'm allowed to put everything in my pocket. Yeah, go and show me how you're going to carry this around. Yep, yep. And then... Where do I get pockets like this? Alright, where's, where's the drain cleaner? Help the help. Okay, help the helpless. Right. Okay. Cool. Cool. Where the drain cleaner at, yo? Don't be sweet. Why are you sweeping the counter? I'm standing right here. Where, where's the freaking drain cleaner, dude? Sir, do you have anything that would clear a badly clogged drain? You know, a drain cleaner. Uh, drain cleaner, huh? Well, let's see. Let me think. do the job. Great. You gotta be careful with that though. That's sulfuric acid. I mean, it'll burn through practically anything. I know. Don't worry. All right. Then that'll be uh, 475, please. Yeah. Got my five. Hey, it wasn't five bucks. There you go. Five. I thought it was going to be five. Right, out of five. I'm going to get a quarter back. And 25 cents change. Thank you. You know, this is a small town. We don't get many visitors. Are you new here? Yeah, my husband and I just bought the old Carnabosh estate. We're doing a little renovating. The Carnabosh estate? So you're the ones who moved there. Now wait, why does everybody look so shocked when I tell them I bought that place? What's wrong with it? What isn't wrong with it? Don't you know? Know what? <clears throat> that place is haunted. Haunted? Shh, not so loud. They say it's haunted by the ghost of that uh, magician. Uh, oh, what's his name? Uh, Carno? Yeah, that's it. They say he died a violent death there one night, along with his wife. That was almost a hundred years ago. A strange thing still, uh, still happened there. We don't go like there Like what? Anymore. Well, like... Well, I, I'm not exactly sure, but, uh, uh, you know, I don't keep up with those things. But if you're curious to know a little more, why, uh, there's this old geezer. <laughs> Spelly McGee. He lives out of town a ways. He actually <laughs> used to live with Carno as a boy. As a boy? Uh. How old is this guy? I haven't seen him for quite a while, but I'll tell you, he is old. He's gonna be over a hundred. And you say he used to live with Car now? That's what they say. Hmm. That's interesting. Well, thanks, uh. Harv. Well, thanks, Harv. You've been very thing. informative. That's right. I'm looking to this Malcolm guy. He's our antagonist. Well, good luck. All right. Got some drain cleaner. I'm gonna pour all over my husband's face. Piece of shit. Abusive prick. Alright, let's see if, uh, Luanne's. Oh, it looks closed. No, it's open. Alright. Let's go speak to Luanne. Hello, Luanne. Antiques. Or a house full of them. Maybe we can flog off all the shit in our house to her. You say 18th or 19th century cameos. 
Unfortunately, I don't have any at this time, but I do have some very fine old jewelry if you'd care to... Oh, uh-huh. I understand. I got one of those. You can buy mine. I see. Buck fifty. I see. Well, I will be on the lookout for any cameos of that description. And you said you'd pay well? Thrilling, thrilling entertainment. Hi. Hello. See anything you like? Oh, I'm just looking. Thanks. Take your time, dear. I'll be here if you have any questions. Okay. Thanks. Seriously, just just bring her out to our place with a with a U-Haul truck. Fill it up. Just take all of this old shit that's up there. Some stuff. Uh, excuse me. Yes? You know that beautiful crucifix in the display case over there? Yes. I was wondering how much you're asking for it. It is a lovely piece, isn't it? Yes. It's not 25 cents, is it? This particular crucifix is not terribly old. Only from the early 19th century. But it is a rare piece. Made out of titanium. A metal which had only just been discovered. I didn't know they made jewelry out of titanium. They don't, as a general rule. That's what makes this such a rare piece. Bullshit. It is interesting. My wedding ring's made out of titanium. So how much? Oh, not much, considering its rarity. Only 2,200. That much? That's more than I can afford right now. Well, in that case, call me if you need any further assistance. Why are you touching me? Goddamn 90s. People running around touching everybody. Right. What is the point of this place? Don't want to spend all day. And your, your clock's pissing me off. I'm going to hit it with the goddamn fire poker. Yes. Hi. I'm Adrian Delaney. I just moved here from Boston. Um, I was wondering if you could maybe you tell me... Did you say your name was Adrian Delaney? You're not a writer, are you? Yes, I am. Why do you ask? Oh, I just loved your mystery novel, Blue Moon Rising. I couldn't put it down for a week. Can I have your autograph? Yeah, sure. That's, oh, yeah. that's your legal contract, son. That's a bit What's jumpy. What's your next book about? Oh, now you're going to have to wait for that to come out. Oh, fiddle, I was afraid you'd say that. Annoying yokels. Well, what can I do for you, Adrian? Well, I was hoping maybe you could tell me something about the area. Listen, I know everything that goes on around here. Like, I know you're the one who bought the old Carnivash estate. If you ever have any questions, I'm the one to ask. Great, I'll do just that. Cool. Thanks, Sat. Uh, Lou Ann. Only, uh, most folks call me Lou. Okay, thanks, Lou. Anytime. I'm I am good, Miss K. Thanks for asking. I am currently being bored out of my brain talking to Luann about anything about a very old man named Malcolm. Just Malcolm Worm trash. Do I ever <laughs> in low FMB. Man. But I haven't seen him for months. Though Ethel does come into town to buy groceries. Ethel? Who's Ethel? Yeah, right. Pause. Well, she's Malcolm's nurse and also companion and housekeeper and whatever else. Uh, he's very old, you know. Almost 110? 110? That's not bad innings. Is that possible? I told you, he's strange. It's almost like he's immortal or something. Most people in town avoid him. <laughs> they call him a witch. But I don't believe all their talk. Well, I'd like to speak to Malcolm. I understand he used to live in my house as a child. <laughs> yeah, well, 1995, so that's a bit before Blue's Clues. That's true, he did, but I doubt Seven CD-ROMs this came out on. Seven. Like a hermit, very private. Back in the day. I'd like to try. I have a lot to ask him. 
No wonder you're a good tick, writer. Tick, tick, tick. You have a lot of natural inquisitiveness. Well, to find him, he lives about a mile out of town, down the dirt track, on the other side of the bridge. Okay. Thanks for the info. Yeah. Sure. Seven CD-ROMs for one game. Because it was all full motion video. Uh, one CD for each chapter, basically. All right, and we are we done in here? Till she runs out of things to say. Oh man, I'm just gonna fast forward. Question. Nope. Oh hello, can I help you? I hate to bother you again, but I'm very curious about the old Karnavash estate. I'm not. Skip. Are we done? Excuse me. No. Nope. Skip. We're done. Lou. Skip. We're done. Excuse me, Lou. Oh hello. Man. Excuse me, Lou. Hello, Adrian. Can I help you? Well, I've been thinking about Carno. Oh my lord. <sighs> You're right. I need to bother you again. Never left. Oh, hi, Adrian. Can I help you? Oh, no, thanks. Just looking around. Whew. Okay, you should have seen before. She goes into the real estate okay. office and has a Barney with the guy. And then before I left, I just sat down uh, and read a magazine there in his office for no reason. Just, just killed 15 minutes. Cool, all right, I think we're done. I'm not gonna talk to her endlessly. That's just gonna drive me uh, insane. All right, cool. Cool, 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 cool. We're done, we're done. All right, these yokels. They just crap on phrase. Oh, actually, no, that's right, we wanna Right, clearly, clearly, I mean, we're supposed to give the, the bone to the dog, not bang it over the head with the, uh, we don't give the dog the drain cleaner. <laughs> right, let's give it a bone. Yeah, that's right. Punk. Nicky Good whoops. Dog. Nice doggy. E. Get. Oh, my mouse. Oh, what's going on with the mouse? The mouse is packing it in. That's better. And the dog just comes rushing back, just mauls her. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Oh, my stupid dog. She came through that door before it opened. Uh, ma'am? I just bought the old Carnivash estate. Fully crammed. I understand the man who lives here, Malcolm, I think his name is, used to live there as a young boy. So? Well, I was wondering if maybe I could speak to Malcolm about his experiences there. I have a lot of questions to ask him about the place. No. Mr. Warm Shadow is a very old man. I don't see any reason for you to come in and upset him. With unpleasant memories. But unpleasant I, I, memories. I said no. No. Schooled. Alright, well, that was a waste of a perfectly good bone. And my mouth is really struggling with DOSBox here. I don't know what's going on. Let's get the heck out of here. <laughs> Use fiber and dung. <laughs> right use drain cleaner on woman man that that scene that area my mouse did not like it all right so to hell with her let's drive our car back to the house that doesn't need keys because it's an amazing car it's pushed up but it doesn't even need a proximity so you just you just get in and drive fix your hair love all right Ooh, why am i here yeah Dun dun dun! Ominous music. Mouse is playing up again. Look at that. It's really struggling. Hello? Dun dun dun. Somebody in here? Hey! Yeah, she is. After we've clubbed her in the head with the, uh, with the fire poker and poured, uh, uh, Drain cleaner all over. Looks like another fart. Right. Little puzzle. Little puzzle. So we've got. Whatever that is, we've got a hook, we got that. Alright, let's. 
Let's click click that. I don't know why, but it's it's highlightable, so I guess it's something that's relevant. Okay. Sinister. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, no, I'm not a detective, so I'm uh, uh, an author, and I bought this house, and it's already full loaded, and we didn't bring any of our own furniture, and then I released a ghost from a box which seems to have possessed my husband, and now he's just turned into a prick, or he's having a bad day, I don't know. But yes, I have to find the octopus first, and then use that with the itching powder to distract the fishmonger. <laughs> It seems totally plausible. Okay, so... I'm... I'm... What am I doing here? Is this... I mean, is there... It, it's... It's not. It's... It's Spaz! 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 You scared me. It's not too complicated, really. Not a nice kitty. You, you, you've Don't moved into that. a haunted house with your husband, and things are getting slowly weirder. That, that's basically it. Meow. Go, Spaz. Spaz. Spaz does not like being picked up. Spaz doesn't like being picked up. Poor Spaz. Okay, so I'm not sure what's happening in the barn. Guess we'll leave that for now. I don't know what's happening with my mouse either. It's really having a bad time of it. Ugh. It's like uh, dust box has just crapped itself. What are we doing? Yeah, it does. It does. The spaz need a spazzy tack, probably. So that, yeah. All right. So, ah, fighting the mouse now. I think we want to give this drain cleaner to. Oh wait, I'm going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. Ah, uh, ah, uh, and the, and the ah. Uh. God, damn it. DOS box, give me, give me back my mouse. Uh, uh, can't recover mouse. It's getting worse. Why? Why? What if I, is there a, come on. This is getting sick. Well, I moved. This sucks. <laughs> Why is my mouse packed it in? I'm gonna alt tab. I'm gonna alt tab. All right, I've got my mouse back here. All right, my mouse is back in Windows. This is good. Go back into thing. I'll enter. Nah, nah. DOSBox is just not having any of this. This is just nah, nah. DOSBox has cracked it. What is the geo? Alright, can I? Is there a... <laughs> it, yeah, it's... Yeah, it's sad. I was hoping, though. I wanna... I wanna... Uh, I'm hoping for, like, a keyboard shortcut to save my game. So I can, like, reload it. But... It's just packed it. It's just packed it right in. This could suck. This could suck very hard. I'm thinking maybe maybe can I it's not gonna help if I plug in another mouse, is it? It's really not. 
No, nah, see? And even in tiny little window. <laughs> Quality gaming. 95 can't get down to the menu to save my game. And if I if I can't if I just if I exit, then we're not gonna be able to save the game. That's gonna suck. Alright, I got one other idea here. I got one other idea. I'm thinking I could try plugging in another mouse. That's not gonna fix it, is it? You'd think there would be a sh Hey, I took a screenshot. Thanks, Steve. What if I... Ha! Ah, does that help? No, nah, that doesn't help. That doesn't help. In fact, <laughs> what's happened to the sides of the screen? Oh, Dustbox just crapped itself hard. Well, sorry, guys. I might have to... Uh, <laughs> I might have to stop the stream there for tonight and uh, see if I can... <laughs> At least I got rid of the steam pop-up in the corner that's been pissing me off all night. But I might have to, uh, uh, fix this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what the go is. I can't, I can't, there's no sort of, uh, keyboard shortcuts or anything here. So, I might have to, uh, catch up sort of off stream to where I am now. And sort of save as I go. And then... Yeah, sort of resume the stream later in the week. I will try just quickly because it's stuffed anyway. Thanks for the follow, Miss K. It just, it, <laughs> hopefully we don't always have these tech issues. I'm going to close the game. And I'm just going to quickly launch it and just see if we're, if we're like totally wrecked. Like if it auto saved. See, the mouse is working now. So I don't know if it's DOSBox. But if we're not where I was when I quit... Like, if it's back at the beginning, I'm just going to end the stream. Yeah! So we're back at the beginning. Screw that. Alright, so I'll catch up in my own time off stream. And I'll save it. And I'll do a little googling around to see if there's a fix, if it's a common problem. And see if we can get around mouse being, yeah, locked out. It's alright. I have the walkthrough, and I'm pretty sure I can speed through this again pretty quickly. So, uh, we'll, uh... We'll catch up. I'll probably be back on oh, hopefully Wednesday night. If not, then the weekend. But it'll be on my. I'll advertise it on my Facebook page. Uh, so tune in. I, I'm looking to play lots of sort of retro DOS PC games from the 80s and 90s. So have a bit of fun. Have a bit of a laugh. Take the piss where we can. Do a bit of backseat gaming. So uh, yeah, leave it with me. I'll get back to where we were off stream, and then uh, next uh, stream we'll pick up. Uh, I think we're pretty much at the end of chapter 2 there. And there's 7 chapters, so... We're not halfway yet. But, uh... Yeah, we'll get there. Anyway, thank you very much for everybody for tuning in. Appreciate it. And, um... Look for, uh... Look for the next stream. And we'll continue with some more Phantasmagoria. Cheers.